Many people wonder with concern, how serious can fatty liver disease become? This silent condition can have harmful effects on the rest of the body. It is important to understand how to eliminate fat accumulation in the liver and what can be consumed to heal it. Surprisingly, one in three individuals have this problem and are unaware of it. The most alarming thing is that it is linked to cirrhosis and liver cancer, even without presenting obvious symptoms. Hi. Today, I'm going to explain four signs that indicate if you have fatty liver, what effects it has on your health and how to detect it in time. Of these four signs, three show initial stage and one represents greater severity. Many people also wonder what foods and beverages are harmful to the liver and should be avoided. Fortunately, it is feasible to overcome this problem naturally. The best remedies can be found in the kitchen. I will not only tell you which foods protect your liver and reverse fat, but also how to use them and their healing properties. Hepatic steatosis or fatty liver occurs because liver cells work 24-7 to detoxify the blood, especially to neutralize toxins. But when certain harmful foods are consumed in excess, these cells become saturated with fat and stop working well. Therefore, it is key to identify and avoid such foods and eat more options that take care of your liver. The liver receives toxins from the intestine and neutralizes them, but some foods or drinks can damage it, causing fat accumulation or hepatic steatosis. The doctor can detect it in a blood test or ultrasound. In Latin America, more than 1% of people have this problem, often without knowing it until it becomes complicated with scarring or cirrhosis. What are the consequences? In the initial stages, there is only fat accumulation in the liver. But if left unresolved and further damaged, the fat leads to chronic inflammation, scarring, and decreased liver function. This raises the risk of liver failure, portal hypertension, gastrointestinal bleeding, and even liver cancer. That is why it is key to detect and treat fatty liver early, before it progresses and affects your health. I will explain how to identify it and reverse it with diet and lifestyle changes. Fat in the liver generates local inflammation and releases substances that also inflame other organs such as the heart, kidneys, and brain. Its most serious consequence is premature death. But before that, scarring or liver fibrosis forms and eventually leads to cirrhosis. The liver hardens and loses function, increasing the risk of cancer. It was previously thought that fatty liver only affected overweight people. Today it is known that this is not so. It can also occur in thin people due to bad habits such as excessive consumption of processed foods, alcohol, sedentary lifestyle, etc. It is not a benign condition or just a metabolic problem. It is key to detect and treat liver fat early before it progresses and severely affects multiple organs. I will explain how to identify and reverse it. You have to treat fatty liver. There are excellent natural remedies and foods that you probably have in your pantry to reverse it. Let's see what are the main warning signs to detect it in time. I will describe four ways. The first three detect the disease early when it is fully reversible. The fourth occurs with complications. A symptomatic form is the earliest stage. Here the problem can be completely reversed. The liver has a great capacity for regeneration. That is why at the beginning it may not show symptoms. It is said to be a silent disease, like hypertension, which can be present for a long time without knowing it. Even if you don't feel anything, if you have an ultrasound, the doctor may notice that your liver is enlarged or shines too brightly on the image. This indicates a fatty liver. Or you may have had a blood test for another reason and your liver enzymes are elevated. If this happened to you, do not be alarmed. Much can be done at this stage, especially if you consume the foods I will recommend. Second form, non-specific symptoms. A liver full of fat is heavy and can cause pain under the ribs or a feeling of heaviness. But at this early stage, 
the person usually thinks it is due to another cause such as gastritis or gallbladder and does not give it importance. These are signs that are easily confused with other problems. But if detected early, fatty liver can be reversed with dietary and lifestyle changes. Nausea, vomiting, chronic abdominal bloating are also common here. Many call it empacho, but it is not. My advice is, if you have no symptoms, or they are not very specific, but you have risk factors such as overweight, obesity, or bad habits, get a liver checkup. Number three, when the disease progresses, it causes liver inflammation. This also causes pain under the ribs, but an overlooked symptom is pain in the shoulder, scapula, or neck, like a contracture. It may be because the liver is inflamed. The main problem is that the inflamed liver is already damaged and scarred, which can lead to cirrhosis, portal hypertension, and bleeding. It is crucial to detect inflammation early and modify habits before liver damage progresses. I will teach you the best natural remedies to reduce inflammation and heal your liver. An inflamed liver releases substances that also inflame and oxidize the rest of the body, generating symptoms such as tiredness and chronic fatigue. You will have a permanent feeling of exhaustion, as if you had done an intense exercise, and you will not recover when you sleep, and you may also experience unspecific pain in muscles and joints. Very important. At this time, it may be very difficult to lose weight because of the generalized inflammation, and your thyroid may be malfunctioning. So, in addition to testing the liver with blood tests, it is key to assess thyroid function. Liver inflammation impacts the entire body, but if detected early, it can be reversed with appropriate dietary and lifestyle changes. An inflamed liver eventually increases the risk of heart attacks, memory problems, and dementia. Number four, in advanced cases, more alarming symptoms appear. Urine becomes darker. Legs and feet swell due to fluid retention. The skin and eyes acquire a yellowish tone, jaundice. There may also be itching all over the body, palms and soles, or red patches and bruising for no apparent reason. And at these stages, there may already be considerable liver scarring or even cirrhosis. These are signs of advanced damage that require urgent treatment. The ideal is to detect and reverse the problem much earlier, when it is still asymptomatic or has mild symptoms. I will show you how to do it. When the disease progresses, you will notice that your abdomen begins to swell due to fluid retention. The belly becomes bulging like in pregnancy. This is called ascites. But in early stages it has a cure. So I will show you the most toxic foods for the liver that you should avoid and then what to do today to heal and prevent complications. The three most harmful foods and drinks are fructose drinks. This is fruit sugar, which naturally and whole is not harmful. But the problem is processed products with fructose. But if you drink only the juice of these fruits, you are consuming pure fructose which in simple words, destroys your liver. This is even worse in purchased juices, those you saw in boxes or plastic bottles, because they contain even more sugar and other added products. And a problem here that nobody talks about is how the industry manipulates us. The industry, the advertisements make us believe that these products are healthy and that we should consume them every day to be happy, to have energy, for example, at breakfast. But this is false. The advice I give my patients when they really like to drink orange fruit juice, for example, is not to filter it. They consume it together with its pulp or blend the fruit. Also, don't drink it every day or try to replace it with other healthier drinks. With lemon, water with rosemary, hibiscus flower, or hibiscus, as we call it in my country. The second harmful food for your liver, ultra-processed and fast food. Real foods are those that do not come in packages. The more processed it is, the more it moves away from its natural form. Imagine that to process a food, you have to remove its fibers, vitamins, active ingredients, and also add sugar, salt, unhealthy fats and other products such as preservatives, dyes, and substances to make it taste and smell similar to the natural one 
and that incidentally generates addiction. Examples here include cookies, breakfast cereals, vegetable oils, soft drinks, energy drinks, and we also include salami, sausage, and cold cuts in general. Number three, alcohol. They say that a glass of wine a day is good for the heart because of its antioxidant properties, but in reality, what is protecting our heart are the active principles of the grape. Excess alcohol inflames our body. The problem is that we don't know what exactly excess means. What is the safe dose for humans? We do not know. It depends on the individual. At present, we know that there is really no safe dose that can be recommended. Therefore, the first step to healing your liver is to choose to change and avoid as much as possible these three products I mentioned. Nobody is born with a taste for them. What happens is that, from a young age, we are manipulated to believe that consuming them is normal. They even make us think that those who do not consume them are the wrong ones. But well, what should we eat and drink to heal? What you need is to consume foods that contain nutrients capable of reversing scarring and decreasing inflammation within the liver, such as vitamins, mainly C and E, and substances with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. However, it is not enough to simply consume them. You must know how to prepare them so that their medicinal effects are not lost. And it is these secrets that I am going to share with you now. Write them down for yourself. Try to incorporate them into your daily routine in a varied way. This will allow you to cleanse your liver in a few weeks. First of all, one of the healthiest foods you can eat for your liver are cruciferous vegetables. Those that grow close to the ground and have green leaves such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, mustard, and spinach. But the secret lies in the fact that in order to make the most of the active substances and principles that repair the liver, they should be consumed raw. And if you do not like to eat them raw, the ideal is to steam them for three to five minutes so that they do not lose their effects. And when they are on your plate, if you cook them, add mustard powder. This helps to activate a substance called sulforaphane that is lost when these vegetables are heated too much. It is this substance that is one of the most anti-inflammatory and literally repairs your liver. Number two, consume fruits with edible peel, such as peaches, pears, apples, plums. And if you get in your city pomegranate, one of the most powerful fruits that exist, pomegranate peel, although it is not edible raw because it is hard and bitter, you can let it dry to make an infusion and take it once or twice a day. You can also grate it and add it in powdered form as a condiment to your meals. Citrus fruits in general are beneficial for the liver, but I want to recommend one in particular that has been widely studied, demonstrating in experiments its ability to reduce inflammation and reverse some scars. Grapefruit. Remember that you should not consume only its juice. It is important to eat the whole fruit and you can do it daily. Number three, garlic with its secret. The challenge lies in consuming it in its raw form. One to two cloves of crushed garlic a day help to reduce inflammation of this organ and provide protection to your entire body. Daily intake of raw garlic has even been shown to prevent the onset of liver cancer. You can consume it in the morning with a glass of water or add raw garlic to your dishes once they are ready on the table. If you do not like to consume it raw, you can heat it slightly, no more than three minutes and no more than 60 degrees to prevent it from burning and losing its properties. Note that all these secrets that I share make the difference between eating for pleasure and feeding our selves to heal our body. The fourth element is turmeric a spice with enormous anti-inflammatory properties. Its key is that, in order to be absorbed and activated in our organism, it must be consumed with a pinch of dried pepper. A small amount, equivalent to the tip of a teaspoon, is enough to activate it. 
You can also mix it with healthy fats, such as avocado oil or olive oil, or even avocado, chia seeds, and flaxseed. In this way, its absorption in our intestine is increased up to 2,000 times. I suggest you consume it daily. Studies have shown that it helps repair scarring and inflammation in a damaged liver, and, in addition, if you have a healthy liver, it boosts its blood detoxifying capacity. The fifth element is actually a drink. It's coffee. Drinking between one and three cups of coffee every day has many benefits, among which is hepatoprotection or liver protection. But it is also very good for your heart and your brain. You can drink it with or without caffeine, but the important thing is that it is sugar-free. Other very good foods that you should incorporate it every day. Extra virgin olive oil, one or two tablespoons a day, or extra virgin avocado oil are excellent choices among vegetable oils. These are the most beneficial. Beets are recommended to be consumed raw in salads or to make juice and drink a glass daily. Red fruits in general, avocado and nuts such as walnuts, pistachios and almonds, along with other healthy habits, contributed to the care of your body and help liver repair. I challenge you to follow these recommendations for four to six weeks and then repeat the ultrasound or blood tests. The results will surprise you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to ask you something very important. Subscribe to our channel and share this material. This is what allows us to continue growing. Best regards from my corner of the world.